I feel like until I really went through a lot of stuff, until I left that toxic relationship, I, I didn't know what to believe in, but I knew I believed in something, but I just didn't know what. When I was um, a baby, I was baptized Catholic. We would go to church every Sunday, um, and my mom was a single mom at the time. She needed help from the church, and um, they wouldn't give it to her because she didn't give them money. So we stopped going. I think it wasn't until I had, I had my daughter that I really believed that she was a gift sent for me. I slowly started to think that I believe in something. I don't know if it's if it's God. I don't know if it's something, but I believe in something. When I had Briella, it was like uh, the relationship I was in wasn't the healthiest. I was verbally and mentally and emotionally abused. And you know, I just I didn't want, I, didn't, I didn't want her to grow up in a house like that because that's not normal. So I left the situation um, and it was one of the hardest things I had to do. I didn't have a lot of support with that because why would you break up a family, Felicia? But it was the best thing, decision that I've ever made. It brought light to my life, leaving and I could breathe and now I'm a single mom and it's the best thing. I wasn't scared to go to a church, but like I had like a bad taste in my mouth because of what happened to my mom. My mom has really been wanting to come to um, a church that there's no judgment. It's just everyone welcomes you in. And so a friend of my mom told her to go to this church. And uh, the day after Thanksgiving last year, we came and, you know, my mom and I didn't really know what to expect. but. Right away, we walked in. We were there a little early. We were welcomed by, it was a blonde lady, and she made us feel like we, she's known us forever. And it felt, right then, we were like, we just knew we were in a good place. All the singing started and we just started crying. We were sad, but we were, it was like a happy sad, like a relief. It was like a relief. I do remember looking at my mom and, us being like, wow, this is, this is my life right now. For me to feel like this resonates with me so much, and it's the first time that I've ever come here, it's, it, it felt like I needed to be there right then and there to hear all of it. I've been coming every Sunday since, and um, I look forward to every Sunday. There is a God. I feel Him every day now. And I never would have said that two, three years ago. I would have told you that you might be crazy. Like, I don't believe that. I feel at, at peace a lot. Like even in the worst days of my life, I'll just pray. And sometimes I'm just like talking to myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm crazy, but I'm talking to someone, you know, and they're talking back. When I said I wanted to get baptized, it's like something came over me. It was like a breath of fresh air. Felicia, let's do this. You need to do this. You know, as a baby, you don't really have a choice, you know? But I want to get baptized because I feel, I feel like I, I have a say for myself now and where my life goes. I want to be done with my old self, my past, and I want a new beginning. And I want a new beginning with Jesus. I have come home. My name is Felicia and I've decided to follow Jesus. Jesus.